Hello, welcome back to Pitch Golf YouTube. I'm PGA professional Gary Monroe, um, and what we're going to cover in today's video is the golf grip. So we're going to talk about hand placement, what a strong grip is, what a weak grip is, um, and what a neutral grip would look like. And we're going to talk about the effects it has on your ball flight and your club face directly. So for this test, we're going to use a Foresight GC2 launch monitor that we've got down here um, at Pitch Golf. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some testing with a strong grip, a weak grip, and a neutral grip. And I'm going to just show you what that does to your club face um, and show you the results on here. So what is a strong grip? You're probably on the first tee um, and you hit one left and you, you, your friend goes to you, oh, your grip looks a little bit strong. A lot of people don't actually know what strong grip is or, you know, is that the tension you're holding it? Is that your hand placement? Is that how far down you're holding the club? So I'm going to try and clear up a few of the little myths here about, about all those things. So what a strong grip actually looks like is the left hand would be excessively turned over the club. So you would be able to see four or five knuckles here or the logo of the club. So your hand would be very turned over. You could also have your right hand in a strong position, so it would be very under the club. The reason this is called a strong grip is, is because it makes it very, very easy to rotate the club face shut and close it. And what we know is from this data, when the club face is closed to whatever path you're swinging on, the ball's going to start left of where you're intending it to. So if you're somebody that hooks the ball, one of the things you might be able to check is, is actually your golf grip. So every lesson I do down here, the first thing I check is somebody's golf grip because a lot of people bypass that and don't actually understand how the importance of a grip and what it does to your club face. So that would be a, a strong grip, hands being under like this. So it gives you a lot of face club face rotation. And then a weak grip. This is normally with beginners. So what I see is the thumb will be straight down the club. I won't be able to see any of the, the logo on the glove or any knuckles. So hands go straight down and that would be classed as a weak grip. And then normally, two and two, they actually put the right hand straight down as well. So a little bit like if they played um, tennis, the way they hold that, or a cricket bat, a squash racket, anything like that. When people pick it up, they normally put the thumb straight down. If they've got this kind of grip, they can't actually leverage their wrists properly and, and set the golf club. So not only does it give you a very weak club face, but it actually doesn't allow you to use the wrist properly. So this is what a weak right hand would look like. It would actually be two over the golf club like this. And the, the drawback of this is it's very hard to close a club head. So because the hand's so far over, if you're somebody who always has an open club face and misses the ball to the right of target, or it's always right of your club path, then this is something you might have wrong. You might be having a very weak grip. So a simple way I like to do is if you just get into your golf posture, let your arms relax. Okay, you see how my hands are slightly turned in? I put my left hand on, on that position. So now I've created a V shape in between my finger and my thumb. That V shape, I like. I personally like to see in between the right ear and right shoulder, aimed about here. So I can see two and a half knuckles there. That for me is like a nice neutral grip. And then the same thing, the right hand comes on. I personally overlap. Uh, I don't mind overlapping or uh, interlocking. I'm not the biggest fan of, of baseball grips. I find it's people get very wristy and they can hook the ball and don't have very good club face control. So I teach interlock or overlap. And then the right hand sits comfortably on, thumb is just left of the center of the grip and it's going to create another little angle in between your thumb and finger that points towards the right shoulder. So that's, that's a neutral grip right there. So left thumb will be on the right center of the shaft, right thumb will be on the left center of the shaft and it will create a grip that looks like this. So that's a very neutral grip. Let's hit some shots where I'm going to do the strong grip. So left hand very over right hand under, and let's see what that has does to our uh, our shot shape and our, our club face. And I've just absolutely ripped it down the middle. So obviously that wasn't strong enough. Um, sorry, that wasn't gonna happen, they were actually, I was going to show you that the strong grip is going to make the ball go left. So 
clearly a little bit of a stronger grip might make me hit a better shot. Let's let's give that another go. So left hand more over, right hand is going to be under the club. Okay, mega strong this time. I don't think I went strong enough. There we go. Okay, that's the one I wanted the first time. Ignore the one that hit the pin and went to about two feet. So what we're going to see with this club data is... Okay, my club face was closed at impact three degrees to my target line. I swung into out, lovely, five degrees, which is my normal pattern, three to five degrees. My club face was closed to the to the target 3.1 degrees. Okay, that's why my ball started left. Now let's see, doing now with the right hand, uh, the left hand very weak, so thumb straight down, and the right hand's gonna be weak, so very over. So this is very hard for me to close the club face now. Hands, right hand over, left hand's under. Okay, so golf ball's taken off to the right with the weak hand grip, with the weak grip, left hand's turned very to the left, under the club, right hand's very over the club. So looking at that data, the strong grip, my club face was closed three degrees to target. Now with the weak grip, my club face was open 11 degrees. So. That's what we're seeing here a lot. A lot of people come in with weak grips and actually hit up on the ball and scoop it. So using our impact data, we can maximize your distance and efficiency so quickly by working on grip, a little bit of wrist angles and actually compressing the ball, you get so much more distance. So I can see here 11.2 degrees open, massive effect that weak grip has on the club face. So if you are one of those guys that are missing it out to the right on the course a lot, and you find you're coming up short, maybe it is from the grip, That maybe you're not holding it in the right position. If you're one of the players that actually missing a lot to the left, as we can see on the first one, three degrees closed, you might be one of those players that are gripping it too strong. Could be, just, could be even strong in the right hand, so you're allowing that club face to rotate too much. The problem with it when it rotates that much, if you don't get your timing spot on, you get that quick left shot. So, what were you guys to do this weekend? Um, just check your grips, just see where your position is. Are you creating that V angle towards the right shoulder, right ear? Are you putting both hands on the club correctly? Is it neutral? Have you got a weak grip? So that, that's what I want you guys to do. Um, if you guys want to pop down here, we're down in Liverpool Street. You have access to all this uh, data with every single lesson. If you want to just have a bay hire and use a facility, you get access to all this. We've got brand new Callaway clubs, Titleist clubs, so you can come down and you can actually see your impact data. Is your club face open, closed, neutral? How can you maximize your distance? How can you hit better golf shots? So come down, check us out. Um, plenty more videos to come. Thanks for watching.